Hello again, Mr. Han here playing some Tekken. You may notice that I have not built a, uh, what was that, electric furnace to replace the one I blew up from after powering it by the MFB. Um, I thought that kind of seemed like cheating. Or, not that I would be cheating, but that might have seemed too easy to cheat, I guess. So I figured I'd do it so that you could actually see. So we'll start off with the furnace, then I'm going to need a bunch of iron. Whoop. Let's figure that out. There's electric furnace. We need, okay, so six iron it looks like. Five go into the iron furnace, and then one goes into the circuit. So... Three ore gets macerated. Grab as much of this as I need. Four. Uh, I'm gonna need some wires. That's two resins extracted. And grab this copper. I have one more dust, but that doesn't really help me right now. Start that extracting. One more copper ore. Wait, oh, I didn't actually put down the furnace. That's why I can't find it. Ugh, it's this sort of furnace. I haven't missed it. Nope. Fire. Okay, just about there. Let's melt this into real iron. I'm gonna make this refined iron right away. Just because. Some copper dust. It's all that rubber I needed. Whoop. That's still going. Do I have some wood? I might need this wood instead of using quite as much coal here. Let's switch this out. Finish my copper so I can build the wire that I need for the circuit. And that's probably not going to last. Probably not going to be enough all on its own. So I have three to get through. Let me make sure this is right. Yeah, it seems right. Hopefully one thing to planks will be enough. I'm going to watch this to make sure it doesn't burn out. Yeah, there we go. All right. Now I can craft all sorts of things. There's that cable. Notice that this icon has changed since with the texture pack update as well. So that's cool. Oh yeah, I gotta grab that furnace now. Which means I need my pick. Furnace with the house of iron. That's not in the right place. There. Iron furnace. Circuit. And redstone. So there. There's a new electric furnace that I didn't even just spawn in here. By cheating or anything. And now, I'll use that to smelt up this bronze ore. Or dust that I made last time. Coming along. Shouldn't I? Yeah, there's some more cans. Thought I had more cans. Let's 
Nope, out of power again. So I was building this so that I could take out this generator. Which is going to be full of power that I'll then need to put back up into this MFP. Why am I hearing a zombie? It's daytime. Isn't it? Looks like daytime. Alright, let's make that wrench. Keep putting things in the wrong spot. So there's a wrench. Yeah, I'm not ready for that yet. Lots of power in there. Oh, before I take that off though, we need to make a transformer. Because that was the problem last time. Look at that. Yeah. This one. So I need more wire than I have. Bummer. I only have one wire left. And I'm going to need it, so... Let's see, I need four wooden planks, six copper, and six rubber. Grab this all up. Coming along. Nice and slow. Let's see, I gotta repair some of this stuff. That didn't take long. Whoops. There we go. I don't really need the lever in there anymore since I'm not carrying around a block breaker. Oh, running low on power again. No, I was going to need to give it more coal. Here comes some of that copper bars. Done macerating. So the other thing you can do with the wrench is to change which direction one of these industrial craft machines spaces. Well, at least the ones like the MFE and the transformer. It's actually going to be a little difficult to get them to face the direction I need it to. But I'll make it work. It'll be fine. Might have to play some tricks to make it happen. Alright, let's build this thing. Wires top and bottom, copper through the middle, low voltage transformer. So you can sort of see on the picture there's a red side and then the other side the green. Much like this MFE has a green output side and these like yellowy whitey maybe ivory colored uh, input sides. So basically the one different side is the output. On the transformer, the different colored side is the higher voltage side. So I need that to point toward this guy. And the only way it's going to do that is if I'm I didn't actually need to clear it. It's only going to do that if I'm up, up, up above it. I think I do need to clear this. So I'm taking apart part of my house here. Just so I can get high enough to hopefully have this face the correct direction. And it's not facing the correct direction. Because why would it do that? So, 
Oh, wait a minute. Maybe it is. I forgot the high voltage side is um, red, not green. I can't see the other side. Still can't see it. Let me move this crafting bench. Oh, come on. I just need to see it. Whoops, didn't mean to switch tools there. Okay, oh, that did work. Awesome. I have to put my house back together. Just a minute. I think there is dirt up there, too. They're yeah, almost good as new. That was there. I'm actually hanging on to the crafting table for now. Uh, right, so... I'll keep the generator for a bit longer until I can use it up. This is unfortunate, but it is going to work. My machines are not going to blow up. Yeah, I do need... I, sh I could have actually put that up in there first. Oh well. Nighttime, have a nap. So, another thing I'm going to build is a better crafting table. Oop, before I do that, I'm going to grab... the uh, Blasper Stone. It's called Project Table. I'm not sure which mod this is actually from, but it's pretty awesome. And you'll see why. Oh, I actually had a furnace. Wow. Anyway, I'll still use it. Uh, back to what I was doing. So it takes three stone. You need a crafting table? Yeah, there's a crafting table. Okay, so the reason I needed this was so I can get my 3x3 three three crafting grid from the Philosopher's Stone. Chest, crafting table. Ah, oh, crap. Gotta make this into planks first. There's planks, chest, crafting table, and stone makes a project table. Put that where my old crafting table was, because this is basically the new crafting table. So it actually has its own inventory, and if I'm doing like the start of a project, I just closed that and it didn't just shoot it off the table. It's still there! You can also put things in the crafting table inventory. So now I don't have those wires, they're still in here. So I find that useful, especially if you're making something more complicated. You can leave the results in here. This part works like a normal crafting table, except you can leave things up here. So, pretty handy. I like it a lot. Well, the next logical thing for me to do is to get a solar panel up and running. The... yeah, that's the right word. So, I actually have to macerate three coal for that. Let's take a look at that recipe. This is a red power solar panel. This is the industrial craft solar panel. So I need some glass that I don't have, circuits, and a generator, which I do have. Do I have sand? And that just sapped my generator, so... Right-click with the wrench. We'll remove. Wrench gets damaged, so put it back in the bag. Also done with the philosopher Stone. So now I'm getting power out of the MFE. Over here. Oop. 
Oop. Gotta be careful what I'm right clicking with. Okay, do I have sand? I don't even have sand. These are for my project, so I'll put them in my project table. I hopefully have enough power to do the rest of what I need. I need two circuits. So that's... A lot of copper, <laughs> a lot of resin. So what I can do if I run out of power up here is throw my generator up there, put a piece of coal in it, it'll drop into this MFE. The whole thing, because MFE can hold way more than the generator can. Yeah, that's going to happen. Actually, what's above here? Alright. So I'm putting wires out here. Because then I'll put my solar panel up there. Later. Can I reach that from inside? Yes, I can. Which is handy. <clears throat> So this probably won't fill up at all. It'll probably just go straight through to the MFE. Yeah, that's working. So the other thing is, before when I blew up my uh, electric furnace, also I could have melted these copper cables because the uh, MFE puts out medium voltage, which um, their concept of voltage isn't really what voltage is in the real world, but you can't really expect that, I suppose. It's a game. But the wire can't carry that voltage. So I'm not sure what happens to copper cable when you try to give it voltage it can't handle, but I may have actually lost some of that too. Not entirely sure. Am I out of power already? Yeah, I'm not out of power, but since this is at 66 and it puts out 128, it's going to hang on to that 66. Going again. What else do I need? Circuit needs some iron. Ah! I just saw this iron and was like, what is this iron in my inventory? Well, that's because I was going to make refined iron for these circuits. Oh, check this out too. Throw it in the inventory. I only have to make the recipe once. Take that and pull that from the inventory to fill this back in. That's also more handy. So I can actually, whoop, these. I don't have my refined iron yet, but since I have the rest, there's that for a circuit. What else do I need? Oh yeah, glass. So let's go dig up some sand. Yeah, I'll go this way. There's some sand over here in my... Bog Swamp Pond, whatever you call it. Check something here. Cool even this. Surely no one. Hello, sheep. I don't see a... Somehow I thought I saw a sapling over there. Which is probably crazy. I'm sure I didn't. Okay, we're starting to run out of power again. Definitely needed to put this generator back. 
Not sure why I opened that. Oops. Ah. Teach sand to the tablet. It's not one into glass. You'll notice I only picked up two sand even though I need three glass. That's because glass and sand are one EMC. Teach that. Oops. There we go. So. I can also leave extras of one of them in there. That works too. So. You have to get it like this. Remember that you kind of want glass on the top of the solar panel. So put the coal dust down in the middle and up on the outside. I don't know. That sort of makes sense to me. So I do what I can. It's in there, not much. Put these away. And put glass over here. Now I need that wrench again to nab the generator. There we go. Give me that! Better still be a generator. It is. There's a chance of it turning into a machine block. Shouldn't have put my dirt away yet. Or can I reach it if I jump on the bed? Ah, yeah. Jump it on the bed. Drop that in my project table, and there is a solar panel. Now this is going to give me, like, very little power. Especially now that it's not even light out. It's giving me no power. Um, this icon shows how much light it has. You can't put a torch over it to make it get artificial light and generate power from that. Uh, why is it still not getting light? Is there something above it? There's not. What's it doing? Oh, there it is. Okay, I guess it just wasn't quite morning yet. All that matters is straight up. So you'll notice there's a big wall on two of the four sides of it, but nothing straight above it. So it's generating power. Slowly, it generates one at a time. So you can see that climbing up slowly, but more quickly than the EMC and this guy is going. By the way, still haven't generated a diamond. And it's been about a day since I set that up. So I will come up with something better for that. More efficient. Ah. Set my tools. Put away my last cobblestone. Didn't I? I thought I had more cobblestone. What did I do with it? There it is. Put it in the wrong chest. Didn't leave anything on my project table. Alright, so now we're running on solar. I don't have to throw any more coal in here. If I'm going to use coal, it's going to be to grind it into coal dust. So that is excellent. Let's uh, turn these into bars. No sense keeping them. Well, if I need more bronze, I will keep the dust in case of that. Alright, that's all I wanted to do for this time. Um, as I let this sit here, it will continue to wait, it won't continue to collect solar power. There's one more thing I need to do. Remember this. Ignore that screen. Um, solar power is loaded in the loaded chunk, but MFE is not. So what I can do is go bigger and make this 3x3. Three three. Like that. So now it's going to take this chunk that it's in and each um, adjacent chunk in a 3x3 three three grid. So now, I'm going to go in here actually. So now my MFE will continue to get power and, oh, that's the ceiling. And so will solar panel will continue to feed it power, which I guess it was already going to do, but I'm not sure what happens if the rest of it isn't loaded.
probably wouldn't see the wire and would just not do anything with the power. Oh, the other thing about solar panel, this slot right here can be used to charge, just like MFE can use this slot to charge. Solar panel is like micro voltage. There's actually, um, uh, I think it calls it ultra low. Let's see. Yes, ultra low current. If they mix up voltage and current, it doesn't really make any sense what they're talking about here. But anyway, it's really all power the way it's treated. But anyway, uh, this is made out of tin. It can only carry one EU per T, I think is the unit. What does this say? Yeah, so this is 128, which copper I think could carry 32. Uh, low voltage is going to turn that 128 into a 32, this transformer. So some things that require more power can be charged in the MFE. Oh, this is a battery discharge slot. And things that require very little power can be charged in the solar panel. Or a bat box if I had bothered to build that. But I don't like the bat box because once you build it, it's a dead end. You either have to use it or just junk it. So alright, that's all for this video, except I'm going to turn off that green line. The F9 key also brings up this sensor thing, which I haven't actually used yet. I could change it to something else, but just click OK. It works. Alright, I'll catch you next time, and hopefully some time will have passed, and I'll have a good deal more power than this, and maybe I'll even have made a diamond. <laughs>